guys, it's Lori with Pizzazz Studios. How's everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm trying something new today. I have one of these Convexo canvases here. It's a Frederick's Convexo canvas. It's eight inches. This is what it looks like. I thought I'd show you. So the side, it's round obviously, and the sides kind of, you know, go down. So let me just open it up here. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, I think. Um, I did a tile the other day that was absolutely stunning, and um, it was a very popular video. So I'm going to actually use the same colors because I absolutely loved it. It was one of my most favorite color combinations ever, thus far anyway. So I'm going to try it on this canvas. Now this canvas is um, very nice. It you can get it at um, Blix online if you are interested in these this one's eight inches so i have it on my spinner i'm going to go ahead and cover it with my house paint so this is my white base it's my house paint mixed with the golden gac 800 and also some water i do put a little water in mine just because of the consistency purposes i it's the way i prefer it some people just use just the straight paint and um, I find that it's too thick for me. Every time I use just straight, the straight um, house paint, it will crack or craze and it just, it's too thick. So I add the GAC 800. It helps with cracking and things like that. And also I add the water to thin it a little bit further. So just for my purposes. So here we go. I'm just laying down a bunch of white and I'm spinning it, evening out, getting it, the whole canvas covered. And it's pretty much all covered except a little bit over here. I'm going to spin one more time. I'm excited to use this canvas. I've never used one of these, so I'm looking forward to it. Well, this looks good. Okay, I do have some air bubbles in here. So I am going to pop a few with my toothpick. I'd like to take care of those ahead of time. You want to preferably do it before you lay down your paint if your house paint has a bunch of bubbles in it because you don't want them popping on you after. If you can help it because it will leave, you know, bubble pot marks or a white mark sometimes in your painting, you want to try to pop them ahead of time. It doesn't always happen, but it can happen. It has happened to me before, but if you can keep the bubbles to a minimum, that's your best bet. Now, I just gave all my paints a good stir. I have these paints made up from the other day when I did my tile video. So, had to give them a good stir, mix them up. I actually added a little bit more of my polyacrylic to them just to thin them a little bit because they had thickened up on me while they were sitting for a few days. They were in airtight containers, but they do still thicken up. All right, cool. I'm very excited to do this. Um, I'm just looking to make sure I got all these bubbles. It looks pretty good, but I'm going to go ahead and just put some more white down here in the middle for me. I should have enough paint here. I did not make any new paint today, so I'm going to use what I had. Like I said, what I used in the other video, so I'm just going to use what I have. It So it should be enough. So that looks, I'm just tilting this to make sure I centered that. It looks pretty centered. It looks good. So I'll reference the other video for you too so you know which one it is. I'm hoping it comes out similar to that tile because it was amazing. This first color I'm going to put down is Artist Loft paint and it's called Light Magenta. 
can just see another bubble or two here I want to pop real quick. There we go. All right, so this is light magenta. It's a really pretty color. This one's the Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. The next one I'm going to use is um, a color art pigment. It's the Ginger Flower. Very pretty color. I love this color. It's very rich. Very iridescent. If you haven't tried their pigments, um, I suggest you could try some because you're going to love them. They're absolutely gorgeous. This is so pretty. I'm just putting a whole bunch down because, like I said, I want to try to use this up. i got to make sure I have enough paint down there, which I'm sure I will at this point. So I'm loading it up. <laughs> okay, this one's Amsterdam. Ultra uh, ultramarine violet. So pretty. I really am putting a good amount of paint on here. <laughs> I want to make sure it stretches out enough and blows out enough when I spin it and everything. So this is copper. This is by Artist Loft. And then the last one I have is Deco Art. Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. I'm just going to lay that in the middle. So I do have some bubbles I'm going to pop. Just use my toothpick. Like I said, I gave these all a good stir a moment ago. So I do have quite a few bubbles here I'd like to take care of. So bear with me just a minute if you don't mind. Thank you. Did you watch my other video with the tile that I made with these colors? You can leave me a comment on this video. Tell me which one you liked better. I'm trying to see if I can... I know it's not going to be exact because you can never recreate the same exact piece. But I loved the colors so much that I'm looking to get something similar. So that's my goal. I don't expect it to be the same. I'm just hoping it'll be very close, but we'll see. Because in that video, I actually um, had made a second tile with the same colors. And a lot more of the aqua kind of came out in it. So they were both very pretty, but I made a set of two. I was going to make two coasters out of them. So if you watch that video, you'll see what I mean. All right. This looks good. All right, I think I'm to the point. I'm going to go ahead and lay down my cell activator. I'm going to blow it out. I'm going to give the cell activator just a stir for a minute because it's been sitting. And there we go. <laughs> oh, 
Well, that's very pretty. Okay, we're gonna have to let this sit just a moment, let everything kind of come back into the center. There's a lot of cells already. This is great. Um, we have high hopes for this one. We'll see what we get. The colors are pretty. I was hoping for a lot of purple, which there is. And there's a hint of the aqua in here. It's so pretty. Let me come around and I'll zoom in my phone. Give you guys a close up. There we go. Wow. So shimmery. I really like these colors. I think when I spin this out, it's going to look pretty good. So, there we go. Waiting for the paints to come back into the middle a little bit more here. Trying to zoom out enough so you can see the entire, entire canvas here. Just letting it sit a minute. Looking pretty good. I don't know if these look like bubbles to me, so I'm gonna pop these bubbles here. Although they're they're gonna get spun off when I spin it. Most likely anywho, but that's alright. So what I'm gonna do, it looks like it's come back to the center pretty well. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more paint around the edge. I do want to make sure everything spins evenly. I want it to flow very nicely. I don't want any sides to sort of be stuck, if you will. I'm probably overdoing it a little bit with the paint, but I want to just make sure it flows smoothly and I don't mind using a little extra. Okay, that should be good. Okay, oh, I'm excited. Excited, I'm gonna give this a spin. See what we get. It looks like, um, actually I wanna tip it just a tad this way first. We wanna make sure it's kind of more centered. I feel like it's leaning to that side a little bit. So I'm trying to get it just a little bit over this way. All right, that looks better. All right, let's give her a girl. Let's see what we get. I'm gonna start out kind of slow here. I'm not looking to spin it too, too fast. Oh, it's looking pretty. Pretty, pretty. Oh, more of the aqua is starting to pop up. Oh, that's really pretty, actually. Wow, very pretty. I'm going to try to center it just a little bit more here. This is looking very nice. One section here, I need to add a little paint to. I'm just going to use the paint off my mat. I'm trying to get it all the way down. I mean, these are some good sides to this canvas, so it has a long way to go <laughs> to drip off. So there we go. Now let's give this a little spin. This is really pretty. I'll give you guys another close up, too. Once we're done here. All right. 
Nice, nice. It's slow going. <laughs> Wow, I'm really happy with this. This is really pretty. Okay, one moment. Okay, so I went and got the tiles that I made the other day so I could show you the look that I was going for. So here's one here. Okay, so that's one of them. Not really pretty. And then this one. So the two of those, I was absolutely in love with these. So what I did is uh, decided I wanted to use the rest of the paint up on this canvas here. And that looks pretty amazing, I gotta say. Now, as this is sitting, I'm noticing, or maybe I just didn't notice it before, but now I'm noticing, put those tiles down. I'm noticing the aquas coming up here through these cells. This is really pretty. They look, I'm gonna take my little toothpick. They look gold, there's copper. Um, I'm not sure if that's the, I think, well, it looks like ginger flower and some purple, and a little bit of aqua coming up. That's amazing. That looks so pretty. Wow, it's very pretty. Let me give you a close up. So what do you think of this one? You like this one? I know it's similar obviously to the tiles I did because it's the same paints, but this is really neat. Oh, it's so pretty. Sorry about the light reflection there. I do see that here now that I'm looking through my phone. I'm just loving these cells though, they're amazing. More color will start to come up through here too, I believe. It looks like even more is starting. As it's sitting, I'm very excited about this. It's really pretty. Well, if you have any questions or if you want to leave a comment, I appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you. I appreciate you watching. I look forward to seeing you again on the next video. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button and like the video for me. That helps me out on YouTube. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me.